This is a case of Mycoplasma bovis in a bison herd. Look at all these beautiful bison galloping across the pasture. So beautiful, so powerful, so elegant, so, hey, what is that? These bison are sick. Look at how lame some are. Some have pneumonia and even laryngitis. Some are coughing. Some are weak and losing weight. Some have swollen joints. And some even have mastitis. They are all different ages too. I wonder, is it Mycoplasma bovis? Usually diagnosis is based on necropsy and clinical signs, but let's see if we can't do a bronchial alveolar lavage and nasal swabs for culture isolation. A gram test won't work because although Mycoplasma bovis is gram positive, it has no cell wall, so it doesn't stain. So let's send these samples to the lab. Oh my, the lab results are in. It is indeed Mycoplasma bovis. Let's go back and look at how our herd is doing. Oh no, the sick animals have become even more sick. Some animals have lost further weight and are emaciated. Others are down and can't get up. And those over there, they're dead. We must select euthanasia of the severely ill and do necropsies. To the necropsy! Oh my, look at all of this caseous necrosis. It is everywhere. It is really severe in the lungs. And see here, there's caseous necrosis in other organs too. Some animals have it in their spleen, others in their liver, and others have it in their uterus and intestines as well. All in all, it is widespread infection. And some animals, when opening joints, even have caseous necrosis in there as well. Let's send some samples to the lab. It's confirmed by the lab results. It is indeed Mycoplasma bovis. This is confirmed by polymerase chain reaction and immunohistochemistry. Let's go back to our records and see what happened to cause such a disaster. I see. Well, it seems that some new animals were brought into the herd two weeks ago and they were not isolated. They were just introduced straight into the herd. Although they would have been carriers showing no clinical signs, stress of transport and mixing would have caused shedding of the bacteria. Then the bacteria would have spread by aerosol, nose-to-nose -nose contact, and directly through feed and water sharing of the herd. Unfortunately, the only control is to isolate clinical cases since no treatments have been found to be fully efficacious nor approved in bison. Most infected animals die despite treatment. The most effective way to deal with Mycoplasma bovis is to prevent it from entering the herd in the first place. Ideally, one must contain a closed herd. And if new animals are entered, ensure to keep them in quarantine before introduction. There is also an ELISA test for Mycoplasma bovis, which using serology may help to identify infected animals and carriers. The end.